You all may have heard of the Sphinx with different names from around the world but have you ever imagined how a Sphinx would look like in real life, a mighty beast with the body of a lion, wings of an eagle and head of a human? In Egyptian mythology, the Sphinx takes on a different form. Here, it's typically depicted as an androsphinx, which translates to man-sphinx in ancient Greek. This Egyptian version of the Sphinx is seen as a benevolent guardian, embodying strength and power, unlike its Greek counterpart where the Sphinx is a treacherous and merciless being. A much alike description of such creature can be found in Hindu mythology as a Purushamiragam or Indian Sphinx guarding the entrance of the Sri Shiva Natraja temple in Chidambaram. There are several other descriptions of the creature in many parts of the globe, but let's stick to the original story. The Sphinx, often depicted with the head of a human and the body of a lion, was a prominent figure in both Greek and Egyptian mythology. These two ancient cultures shared a deep connection, influencing one another in many ways. In Greek mythology, the Sphinx was thought to be a woman. She had not only the head of a human and the body of a lion but also the wings of an eagle and the tail of a serpent, making her a truly enigmatic and fearsome figure. But her most famous aspect was her riddles. According to the story of Oedipus, the goddess Hera sent the Sphinx to plague the people of the ancient city of Thebes. This was punishment for an ancient crime, possibly the failure to atone for the crimes of a former king of Thebes. Oedipus was a mythical Greek king of Thebes, a tragic hero in Greek mythology who accidentally fulfilled a prophecy that he would end up killing his father and marrying his mother, thereby bringing disaster to his city and family. The Sphinx, dwelling outside the city of Thebes, challenged travelers with a perplexing riddle. The question was, which creature has one voice, four feet in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three at night. Those who couldn't answer correctly met a grim fate. However, Oedipus was up for the challenge. He solved the riddle, saying, the man who crawls on all fours as a baby, walks on two as an adult, and needs a walking cane when old. This answer saved his life, but there was more to this tale. A second riddle followed. Two sisters, one gives birth to the other, who in turn gives birth to the first. Who are they? The answer, day and night. With both riddles answered correctly, the Sphinx met her end. Legend has it she either threw herself off the rock where she rested or devoured herself, symbolizing the transition from old religious practices to the rise of the Olympian deities, as embodied by Oedipus. And that, my friends, is the tale of the Sphinx, a creature of mystery, riddles, and transformation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating mythological stories. Until next time. Stay curious.